Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Ford Financial. Uh, just an update here on uh, Weed MD. Uh, ticker is WDDMF. Uh, I have it here on uh, bar chart. Uh, you can see the uh, day's low and the uh, day's high. Uh, we'll go over what this one is in a moment. I'm sure you can tell by the uh, name of it uh, that this is another MJ play. Um, I made a video about this one a while back and uh, just doing an update on it. Uh, the day's low of uh, 0 0.2460 and a high of uh, 0 0.2751. Uh, so this is a uh, penny stock that trades over the counter. So if you're looking to get this one, I always recommend Fidelity. If you can't get it there, try uh, TD Ameritrade or uh, any of the other uh, major brokerages should be able to um, be able to uh, purchase this one. And the previous close of um, 0.2485 uh, volume kind of small and average volume kind of small on this one uh, but you can see the um, volume on Friday as opposed to uh, the average is about uh, tripled uh, five-day range is uh, up 16.43 percent or 0 0.0374 uh, cents and there is the rest of the information on them so over here to um, Bing Here's their market cap, uh, 65 million. So uh, I don't know where bar chart didn't have it, but uh, and if you'd like to uh, pause and uh, go over what uh, Weed MD is there, uh, feel free. I have some more information. We'll be going over what they do here in a moment. Over here to uh, Proactive. Uh, so this is kind of going over uh, Weed MD. And right there you can see the 52-week uh, high of 99, low of 23, and $81 million market cap. So um, in brief, it's a publicly traded uh, parent company, a uh, federally licensed uh, producer of MJ products for both medical and adult use markets. Company owns and operates a 150-acre state-of-the-art greenhouse, outdoor, and processing facility located in Strath. Roy, Ontario. Uh, Weed MD also operates CX Industries, a wholly owned subsidiary of Weed MD from the company fully licensed 26,000 square in Ontario. And feel free to pause and uh, go over the rest there for yourself. Um, but um, pretty much just a another MJ play, uh, another one um, that I found and um, watching, and it's a uh, Penny stocks, uh, so what more could you ask for? So it's eventually all got to go up at uh, some point in time. So, and let's see what the deep dive is here. Weed MD on the pathway to profitable growth as its MJ 2.0 efforts accelerate. So, the uh, Canadian MJ company recent partnership with Pax Labs and top selling vape products position it well for success in the space uh, so again the uh, market cap 81.39 so a smaller company so uh, if it takes off um, you could see some significant gains in the uh, stock uh, best-in-class infrastructure and expertise high quality MJ products unique high margin direct to consumer medical platform uh, what weed MD does uh, so it is making the most of the opportunities in Canada's burgeoning MJ sector. Company owns leases and operates a 150-acre property in Strathroy, Ontario, with up to 550 square feet of greenhouse footprint and up to 100 acres, 100 acres of outdoor cultivation. So very huge um, greenhouse and um, big operation, even though the uh, market cap is small on this one. So. So they specialize in the MJ extraction processing and a 14,850 square foot indoor facility in uh, Bowmanville, Ontario that uh, focuses on product research, processing, and fulfillment. WeedMD is publicly traded parent company of WeedMDRX and Star Seed Holdings, both of which are Canadian federally licensed producers. And I'll just slowly scroll through the uh, rest of the information, so feel free to pause and uh, go over the rest. Uh, so the platform, which launched in 2017, now offers its virtual patient care program 
as a sector transitions into virtual healthcare. Uh, WeedMD also owns the uh, Color MJ brand, uh, which includes cultivated MJ products for adult use markets such as Pedro Sweet Sativa and Ghost Train Haze. So, very interesting names. Pedro Sweet Sativa sounds kind of uh, Latino or Mexican to me, and Ghost Train Haze sounds kind of like. Uh, uh, like Purple Haze or a Jimi Hendrix type of <laughs> product, so uh, very interesting name. So, company has a long-term strategic investor in Lyona Pension Fund of Central and Eastern Canada, which owns approximately 29% stake in Weed MD. Lyona manages pensions for the largest construction union in Canada. Uh, so WeedMD is led by CEO Angelo, who has been 16 years of experience in pharmaceutical and healthcare st strategy and pricing, including positions at Shoppers Drug Mart and GlaxoSmithKline. So I've talked about uh, GlaxoSmithKline here on the channel uh, a couple times, always compare them to uh, Pfizer. Pretty much the uh, same uh, stock price, and um, they both, I believe, have pretty much the uh, same dividend. So. So another reason why I'm interested into this one because it kind of looks into the uh, medical part of it. Um, but and I'll just slowly scroll through this information. So feel free to pause and um, go over the rest there for yourself, or else you can find this on ProactiveInvestors.com. So it kind of goes over some of their financials, the uh, Q3. And what the broker says, coverage on WeedMD with a speculative buy rating and a price target of $0.60 cents per share, saying the MJ company offers a unique MJ capital strategy that has secured preferred access to about 350 patients while sharing an upside potential of the Canadian adult use market. And so... Sometimes what I do on these just to uh, diversify because you never know which one's going to take off and um, which ones aren't. Uh, sometimes I just throw 10, 20, maybe 50, maybe a, a dollar cost average on uh, some of these. So when they're 50, 60 cents, you can still get quite a few shares for 50 bucks or and just keep dollar cost averaging into it. That's what I do on these. Uh, sometime and uh, seems to work so I'm not green on all of them but um, there is some red in some of them but if you keep them for the long term I uh, should do well over time but again I don't give tax legal or trading advice so it's up to you to uh, do your own due diligence WeedMD wraps up a fiscal 2020 with a 29.4 million in revenue and this is as you can see just dated uh, five days ago so on uh, June 1st so Monday, its revenue rose 41% year to year, reaching at 29.4 million or 24.3 million in 2020 uh, U.S. The uh, Toronto-based uh, company reported its financial results for 2020 fiscal year, revealing a gross loss uh, before changes in fair value of roughly 22 million Canadian, compared to a gross profit of 4.05 million in 2019. So quite a difference. Uh, WeedMD also reported a negative adjusted EBITDA, a non-IFRS measure of approximately 43.6 million in 2020 versus the 11.9 million loss in the prior year. As of December 30th, the uh, company had 22.3 million in cash and cash equivalents. The company also harvests a total of 33,751 kilogram of MJ, up by 88% over the year. The significant increase in kilograms harvested can be attributed to the additional flowering rooms in Strathroy, uh, which came operational over the period. And here's some more of the uh, deals that they're uh, currently in. And a little bit more information about the Star Seed Holdings. So, and moving on here, uh, WeedMD and privately owned uh, Cantex Life Sciences signed letter of intent to create a 
MJ Cultivation and Consumer Centric Product Portfolio. And this is, as you can see, dated on the uh, 31st. And so, a uh, federally licensed producer of, and distributor of uh, medical grade MJ is pleased to announce that has signed a letter of intent to acquire the issued and outstanding shares of renowned craft cultivator Can TX Life Sciences in an all stock trends action uh, which operates out of the uh, licensed production facility in Gulf, Ontario. It is a highly regarded cultivator that specializes in tissue culture and micro propagate propagation techniques, agriculture research, craft cultivation, and processing of new MJ products such as Rosen and Hash. Uh, so they're kind of doing some things a little bit differently than some other MJ companies out there. That's why I like to uh, diversify and do uh, quite a few different ones because they all have their own niche. Uh, they're all kind of doing their own thing, yet some of it's similar. They seems like they all have some little... <coughs> thing that they all do uh, differently whether that be uh, topicals or whatever they're into so kind of nice to see uh, some of them have their own niche so uh, over here on uh, reddit uh, weedmd we beat the shorts or did they beat us and that's three days ago one month ago so not too much other relevant information over here to stock twits currently at 27 cents low of 17 high of a dollar and market cap of 55.7 million I'm really happy for your gains but this is going back to 26 27 next week so we'll see what happens with it it's running hard our feed feed your due diligence if you feed us Ford CBD of Denver haven't uh, ever heard of that one so might have to check into it WeedMD wraps up fiscal 2020 I already went over that information and not too much other information in here other than uh, what we've already uh, went over and nothing here on the uh, tip ranks, uh, but if you have, uh, uh, again, the uh, ticker is WDDMF or WeedMed, go ahead and list that in the uh, comments along with how many shares you have and uh, your cost basis, and that would be interesting to know. And if you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing, and hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop. Again, this is Jace Money have on uh following forward financial happy trading happy investing stay green cheers